What's up guys? Today I want to talk to you about the hierarchy or the order of importance of things at Marshall League Performance. The first building block I want to talk about, the base, is movement quality and mobility. We want all of our athletes to possess the biggest foundation in this building block to allow us to have the most success in our program. Every athlete is required to do an introductory session to where we take them through a movement screening, we pre-athletic test them, as well as take them through a short workout to get a better feel for each other. During that workout, we break down each of the movement patterns that they're going to be doing, not only in the gym, but in everyday life and their sport as well. Each of those movements, we try to find out where an athlete is efficient, where we don't need to spend a ton of time on that movement pattern before we load it. Um, and more importantly, where they're inefficient, where we need to work on a little bit more um, functionality, that movement quality and mobility in that movement pattern before we start building strength upon them. We also, this also allows us to get the, the correct progressions in place for that athlete to transition from movement mobility to strength. This allows us to work with a wide range age of athletes as well as different skill level. That movement pattern can have three or four or five different progressions to allow people to keep working efficiently at their own pace without holding anyone else back. Greg Cook, he's the founder of the Functional Movement Screen, and he says first we must move well and then move often. Once an, athlete, once an athlete can move well and then move often, we then want to build strength on top of that movement pattern. Greg Cook also says we should not build strength on top of dysfunction. So if an athlete has a dysfunctional movement pattern and we build strength upon that, we are actually aiding in that dysfunction and increasing risk of injury. This is the area I see today people have the most problem with or the most trouble with that we want to build strength and power right away before they have efficient movement and mobility. Strength. Strength, once we, once we have that efficient mobility and movement, we will then build strength on top of that movement pattern. We want to make sure the athlete has the biggest foundation and strength as well before we start working on power. Power, speed, and agility is actually limited to how strong an athlete is. You will not see a very fast and powerful athlete that is weak. Power, as Mike Boyle says, is strength expressed quickly. We need to make sure the athletes are strong and can withstand the demands and the forces that are put in place when we do power, speed, and agility. Once we have a good power, speed, and agility, once we're able to work on that, the last thing that we focus on is conditioning. We take a couple things into consideration when we, when we work on conditioning for a specific athlete. We want to take their sport, what type of sport um, do they do, what are the demands of that sport, what energy systems are they using in that sport. We don't want, um, let's say, you know, a, a football kid or a softball kid to be working on long distance conditioning. That's just an example. We also want to look at, our, is that athlete in season or off season? What are they doing outside of the gym? And these are questions that we need to ask those athletes. If an, if an athlete is doing a ton of stuff outside of the gym, they're doing multiple sports, um, they're doing a lot of practices, maybe some games, we don't really want to work on much conditioning in here. They're getting enough of that outside of the gym. But if an athlete, this is all they're doing, they're training three days a week, they're in their off season, they're getting no conditioning, that is something that we will start implementing more into their program. These are the building blocks, the hierarchy of things at Marshall League Performance, and we focus on movement quality and mobility over everything. We want to lay a big foundation to allow us to have success. We then want to get the biggest strength foundation on top of that before we work on power, speed, and agility. The last thing we focus on is conditioning, and that is more specific to their sport and if they're in or off season. These building blocks allow us to have the most success and do it the safest and most efficiently way possible. Thanks for listening, guys.